New tonight, a woman attacked while gardening. She tells News 6 a rabid coyote latched onto her leg and would not let go. The frightening moments unraveled outside her place at the Emerald Island Resort in Kissimmee. News 6's Troy Campbell found out that's one of the areas under an alert from the health department. Well, Matt, health officials tell me that a raccoon that tested positive for rabies attacked two people. Tonight, we spoke with a woman who said she was outside. She was simply doing her yard work when she was caught off guard when a coyote grabbed onto her leg. Before I could move, this thing pounced on me. Robin O'Donnell says she had her back facing towards these woods on Saturday afternoon when her husband, inside the home at the time, saw the coyote approaching. I said, Robin, watch out for the boom. As soon as I said that, she got bit. O'Donnell says for about 30 seconds, several people nearby attempted to pry the coyote's jaw off of her leg. It just kept clamp, clamping down on my, on my thigh. O'Donnell shared this picture showing two puncture wounds on her leg. She says she received shots on Saturday and will still need more in the future. The O'Donnell's taking this picture of the coyote shortly after the attack. It's not the most pleasant thing. The shots are painful, but uh, not as painful as getting rabies. Florida Fish and Wildlife says a single coyote bit two people on Saturday within 100 yards of each other. The coyote's carcass testing positive for rabies. O'Donnell says she's concerned more infected animals could be lurking in these woods near her home. The real sad part is that now I don't want to go outside. I feel like that's been taken away from me and, and nobody can assure me that that's not going to happen again. And we also contacted other health departments. Officials in Brevard County say over the past month, there have been several stray kittens that have tested positive for rabies. They add that typically the source is a bite from an infected raccoon. Also, they remind the public don't feed any wild or stray animals. And of course, make sure that your pets are updated on their rabies vaccines. Live in Kissimmee, Troy Campbell, Getting Results News 6.